All right, here we have got Galaxy S22 Ultra, which is running on One UI 4.1. And in this video, we are going to take a look at all those new changes or new features which are available on One UI 4.1 compared to One UI 4.0. If you're new here and if you love watching crisp and short tech contents, be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like for this video if you find it useful. Now let's go ahead. I like it. Now the first thing I noticed is a minor design change on the quick panel. As you can see, on the right hand side I have got One UI 4.1 and on the left hand side I have the Note 20 Ultra running on One UI 4.0. When I swipe the notification panel or the quick panel, you can see these toggles or these buttons are slightly bigger compared to One UI 4.0. If you can notice here, the gap between these toggles or these buttons is slightly lesser compared to One UI 4.0. And I also felt these toggles or these circles are slightly or marginally bigger. Now moving on to the second one, we have got an improved color palette option now. Let me show you that. Let's press and hold on this ES22 Ultra. I'll tap on wallpaper and style. Now let's tap on color palette. As you can see the AI picks six different colors to customize the theme on the phone. Earlier we had these circles with four different colors. Now we have got these bars with six different colors. That is just fantastic. But I would say this is not good enough. We would definitely need a better customization options when it comes to color palettes. The theme that this AI creates should be applied across the system. I'm sure this will be improved by Samsung in the coming days. Now let's look at the third feature. This is about the RAM Plus. Let's tap on settings on both these phones. Let's tap on battery and device care. Now let's tap on memory on both these phones. As you can see, the RAM Plus or the virtual memory is by default 4GB on this Note 20 Ultra whereas now we have options to select 2GB, 4GB, 6GB or 8GB for the virtual RAM on One UI 4.1. This is not really necessary if you already have 12GB of RAM but if you are on a 8GB of RAM then you might want to select one of these options here to expand the virtual RAM. It says select how much internal storage to use as virtual memory to improve app performance. So as per Samsung, this feature is going to enhance or improve the app performance when you expand the RAM. And now we have four different options to choose from in this particular section. Now let's again tap on settings. Let's tap on advanced feature on both these devices. Now I'll tap on labs. As you can see, on One UI 4.0, we only have one option, multi-window for all apps, which allows all apps to open in pop-up view or split-screen view, including apps that haven't been designed for these layouts. Whereas on One UI 4.1, we have an additional toggle here or the switch here. It's called full screen in split-screen view. It says hide the status and navigation bars so you can see more of each application. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen or down from the top to show the hidden bars. This is what it says. Let's enable this and let's see how exactly this works. This is a new feature which we have in labs on One UI 4.1. Now I'm not really sure whether this feature is already there on the S21 series. Uh, since I don't have the phone here, I'm not able to verify that. If you own the S21 series, do let me know in the comment section below whether you have this full screen in split screen view option or not in the labs section. Now let me open two different applications in split screen view. As you can see here, the status bar and the navigation bar both are hidden. This offers a bigger screen real estate for the content. Now let's go to the next feature. Again, let's tap on settings. Tap on display on both these devices. Here, as you can see, the adaptive brightness is turned on both these phones. Now I will turn it off on the One UI 4.0 and now I'll turn it off on One UI 4.1. As you can see, we have an additional option here. It's called extra brightness, which increases the maximum brightness. It says this uses more battery. So enable this feature only if you need that extra brightness. Maybe when you're using the phone under a brightly lit conditions, you can enable this feature. This is not available on the previous version of One UI. A cool addition indeed. All right, now let's go to the next one. Let's open camera application on both these phones. Let's tap on more. And here let's tap on Pro Photography. I'll tap on Pro on both these devices. As you can see, on One UI 4.0, 
it is showing only ultra wide and wide lens and on one ui 4.1 you can see we have got ultra wide wide telephoto as well now we can utilize the telephoto lenses also when you're on the pro mode now let's go back let's go to more again i will tap on pro video mode on both these phones again here we have got the similar options on one ui 4.1 we can see all these different lens options here, whereas on the One UI 4.0, we don't have telephoto lens option. This is another feature which we have got on One UI 4.1. All right, now we have an exciting one. This is the smart widget. Let's press and hold on the home screen. Let's tap on widgets. As you can see, we have got smart widget here. By default, we have got three of them here. Smart widget is nothing but one single widget which combines different widget which can be viewed by just swiping on that particular widget which is there on the home screen this saves space on the home screen we don't have to add multiple widgets to check the information we can just set one widget and multiple widget on the same widget this is a brilliant feature on one ui 4.1 let me show you how this works let's select this particular widget and i'll place it on the home screen As you can see, when I swipe, I'm able to see the weather widget and I'm also able to see the reminder widget. So all these three widgets are there on one single widget and it can be accessed by swiping on the screen. Now we can also add more widgets to this. Just press and hold on this widget. We got an option add widget to smart widget. I'll tap on this. Now I can add any widgets here to that single widget that we have set on the home screen. I tried adding more than about five, six widgets. It could add them. I'm sure it can add more widgets as well. It's a great feature, isn't it? Do let me know what do you think about it in the comment section below. These are some of the cool new features which I could identify on One UI 4.1. If you already have a S22 series device, do let me know if you have found any other new features on One UI 4.1. Let me know in the comment section. The battery test results on the S22 Ultra is coming soon, so stay tuned for that. That's all I have here in this video. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.